Alright, what's... Alright, what's going on, everyone? It's Great Defensor back at you with another... Another... What do I call these videos? Discussion video? Damn. It's been so long since I've done one of these. Anyway, it's on to the... Onto the tier list for the Master Solo Escape tier list, to be specific, so... Let's start with the worst class in the game, or should I say, demo. Don't ever use this fucking class unless you want to torture yourself. Like, sure, as one of the best ults in the entire game, but, um. Hold on. But, um. And I think it's called Lancer GL Mastery, where. Instead of reducing the recoil for for just the GL, it reduces the recoil for all the weapons. So if you're holding a tri shot, no I'm sorry, a claw with Lancer GL Mastery, it's pretty much a fucking laser. But almost all the cards, or at least all the good ones, are explosive based. So which are Super fucking scarce in escape. And therefore has pretty low DPS as a result of this. And on top of that, it can't regen explosives like TAC. You have to manually go get um, red ammo boxes. So, it's e and those are even more scarce than regular ammo themselves. So, it suffers from the lowest DPS of any class in the game. And let's move on to... I won't necessarily say they're bad, but so let's remove that. I won't necessarily say any of these are bad. Let's just put Protector in C tier. So, a few positives to note about Protector is that it can regen stim for i think i think um what's what's the description i think after four seconds of not getting hit you can regen regen stim and it doesn't have to rely on venom for bleed it all it automatically has it and bubbles sometimes helps especially against scion enemies but it has a talent, so we're already off to a pretty bad start. As nowhere near as cr much crowd control as Blade Master, the healing passives is atrocious in comparison to Blade Master. Like I think you gain health like, like every like second or something. While Blade Master is instantaneous with bl with Throw the Hunt. And on top of that, it has no damage resistance. So good luck, mate, tanking a tanking a, a scion slap. And it can't shoot through. As much as I wish this was true, you can't you can't shoot through the bubble like anchor shield. It's super weird. Okay, let's move on to Re Robotics Expert. So, DR1 is a super good decoy. It can pretty much just shred anything within a close proximity. It's got a ton of health. Like, the only thing it can't do is... I think it only tank, like, one salva rocket, and that's it. And, for some reason, as increased damage with, with the M-Bar, if... I forgot what's the... The card is car called, but um, it increases the damage of all DB weapons by I think eighty percent if they're if enemy health is below fifty. I think I, f I forgot the card name, but for some reason the M bar does five thousand damage per active critical hit, but while normally it only does. 37.50 so it's a pretty neat bonus especially on the split plus it spawns with the ball talk so 
that's it's automatically good. Its only problem is that there's only a handful of cars that are worth it, and it just doesn't deal as much DPS as Marksman, unfortunately. And its passive sucks, too. And there are only a handful of maps that contain a weapons locker. The only ones I know of are Ice Queen, The Line, what's that other one? The Gatekeepers, I th I think there's another, oh, Last Stand, I think there's another one, but, but I'm not sure, someone has to, someone let me know. Okay, let's go into probably the most underrated class in the entire game, which is Mechanic. Enforcer is, is a fucking godsend, if you have, um, what's that card name? Uh, personal defense. If you use that with DB, DB weapon recoil and the DB weapon damage card, it can it can shred silence within almost an instant. I'm I'm not joking. You can literally watch my solo with mechanic on gauntlet. It just shreds stumps and silence so easily, and it can one shot elite drones with an active M bar. It does around. 7500 damage and I think the long shot deals 7812 damage so it does all very little less DPS than the long shot but if it can long if it can one hit kill elite drones then it's a godsend plus if you have um if you have long shot equip you pretty much have 30 opportunities to headshot drones which is very good the turret is also super good because if you watch commander ch's run on gatekeepers bruh the turret just shreds that swarmac with so damn fast i'm not even joking i was shocked when i learned this and i used it the other i always use this card on um i always use mechanic on on gatekeepers because of this now and it really helps that db weapons are super fucking common like almost every hive contains an a db weapon so the cards are are very use are not shit which is its main problem most of the good cards rely on db weapons and it's passive I think it shares the same passive as Robotics Expert and Architect. So that's kind of a letdown. And it spawns with a Talon. So it's automatically fucking bad. And let's not forget the last of the Engineers, Architect. So. It's all is really fucking good if you have frags and other explosive weapons it significantly increases the if you have the card that increases the duration of alt with ballistic weapons then explosives significantly increase the duration of ultimate which is super fucking good like i remember commander ch telling me that his ultimate lasted like what like 20 30 waves straight in his horde solo on a trium yeah that's how good that that card is i mean that ultimate is i'm sorry and it could potentially one shot scions because of how the card that allows you to that allows i think 200 percent more damage if you're shooting at enemy from behind so yeah, one-shotting anything is, is good enough. And on top of that, it can regen stim and as stim capacity, though it's 110% as opposed to 230 like Infiltrator, which I'll get to later. And it has tied the, I think it has tied the fastest alt charge in the game besides combat medic. So, <coughs> excuse me, so that's really good. And um a few negatives here. 
the has somewhat low DPS given how there are almost barely any cards that that allow damage up front. God damn these fucking jets at ten o'clock at night. And it spawns with a with a snub pistol, so that's not not bad as talent, but it's not good as as ball talk, especially now given how they removed the snub pistol card, and only three of the useful cards are alt related. So th there's that, and the two other ones are related to stim. Now let's on move on to the good, the really good classes. So first up, we have pilot as. One of the best ultimates in the entire game. I'm being dead serious. As one of the best ults in the entire game. Because one. You could potentially deal a whole bunch of DPS. It, as poten it can potentially last super long too. If you can land your salvos, salvo hits. The Moltra card can just, just shred enemies. Just, just melt them within an instant. Like, I remember doing my pilot solo on the split, bro. Those Guardians and Sentinels just... They're just gone within, like, 10, 5, 6 seconds, man. I'm not kidding. Plus, if you if you hop in your ult, it, you automatically gain back all of your health. So, so say if you're, if you're, like, close in the red and you pop ult... All of a sudden, your health has gone back up to 100%. So that's really good if for getting out of sticky situations. And if you equip... What's that card called? Healing Explosives? It heals the, 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 the Silverback as well. Not just you. So if you combine that with the with salva rockets it's borderline indestructible outside of the occasional salva rocket which very few exist in the entirety of escape and that's his biggest problem almost all the good cards are related to all and it spawns with a talon too so you're pretty much fucked until you get ultimate and next up we have slugger I honestly don't have much to say about this class besides it has very good DPS because of the 60% damage buff to all weapons and it can penetrate as well. Frag grenades are a god. Like it could pretty much just, as soon as you throw a frag grenade it just disintegrates drones. Plus you can carry five of them too. And... Its main downsides are its passive, which is explosive resist resistance is increased by 50%. Is it's useless. It's fucking useless. Unless you have 90% damage resistance, any damage resistance card is fucking useless. And its ultimate is probably one of the worst ones in the game because it just makes guns weaker as a result maybe with a lancer or whatever but um not do not use this card with a long shot at all just don't do it oh i forgot to mention how its gold card is somewhat good too because it can stun drones which is really good if you're kind of pinch with a elite drone or elite grenadier so there's that on to the next one, which is, um, you know what? I actually want to swap these two. Yeah, you know what? Nah, never mind. I'll get to that later. So, as the combat medic has, in my opinion, the best overall, da can have the best overall damage resistance in the game besides Blade Master. Actually, you know what? No. I scratched that. As the best overall damage resistance in the entire game. Blade Master, you have to go in and melee somebody. And even then, it's only like 
you have to be literally touching them in order to get that 96 damage resistance. Meanwhile, with Combat Medic, you have up to 64% damage resistance at any given point. Which is, or at least from, um, from beyond 5 meters away, which is not that far too. And 96% damage resistance if you, um, if you have, if, what's that card called? I think it's called, oh, overdoing it. That card is like one of the best cards in the entire game. I do not want to hear anyone saying otherwise. That card is a complete godsend and it's saved me multiple times. You pretty much have god mode every time that card is active for... 11 seconds 12 which is a lot of fucking time plus the snub card is super good it could deal like i think like 600 plus damage per active critical hit and has also tied the fastest ult charge in the game which is i think 120 seconds and the only one who matches that is architect but sadly it's just out damaged by other classes so that's its main downfall. Then again, it's not supposed to do that because it's a support class. So, we'll get into it's more superior in terms of damage, which is veteran. As very good DPS can two sh two shot scions with a long active long shot. Plus, it can as it aimbot for an ultimate. That can also generate stim. It's pre it's also invincible during executioning. And if you active reload prior to ult, and then use it and pick up a heavy weapon, it actually increases the damage of heavy weapons. I think I did this on my split run as <coughs> as veteran. Like if you look at the very start of act two i do this so yeah but sadly like i said about combat medic it's out damaged by other classes so that's the unfortunate part it's still a very good class it's just it's just that other classes just do a better job at dealing damage which is probably the most important part about solo escape is just dealing as much damage as possible because you don't have that luxury of having two other teammates being distracting the enemy so you have to kill you have to kill people as quickly as possible especially with the venom coming along so we'll get into striker next all right so it can one shot and two shot elite drones with first strike, which is super fucking good. It's probably one of the best cars in the entire game because of that. And it can it can stim while me I think it gains a hundred stim per melee hit and as melee resistance, so you can you can tank I think two juvie hits before you go down as opposed to just one like everyone else plus its passive can sometimes help too especially if you're in the venom and the breaker mace bleed is just oh man it's it's so good but it's too bad they're only but it's too bad only a few maps include a, a breaker mace or at least one that that you can use viably as opposed to other weapons outside of that is somewhat low dps outside of the long shot m, m bar and um breaker mace so that's the unfortunate part about about um about striker so we'll get into the really good classes now so Actually, you know what? How do I add? How do I fucking add? No. Add row above. Alright. Uh. 
Okay, we're getting to the really good classes now, so we'll have Gunner sit up here at the little S tier. It has a 30 second alt charge if you equip it with um, Lone Survivor, I think it's called. So you can pretty much have alt at any given point. And it's all is super fucking good too. You can pretty much just as soon as you just, just you can just throw yourself into enemy fire and most of them will just dissipate within a matter of seconds. No joke. Plus, if a enemy drone melees you, it can pretty much go down instantly for some reason. I have no idea why, but they just go down when you melee them. Plus, bait armor is a god. Especially if you're in the Venom, because 60% damage resistance is good enough, I guess. But the the sad part about Gunner is that almost all of their good cards rely on heavy weapons and all. So, no cards if you want to deal extra damage with a long shot or something. So, you pretty much have low DPS outside of those things. You know what? Nah, you know what? Nah. I think these are the... Actually, you know what? I'll save this. Alright, let's go on to... Um... Let's go to... Tech... You know what? No. I'll actually say Marksman up there. It's probably the... It has the highest single shot DPS in the entire game. Because, well, long shot is a god, and almost every map contains a long shot. So, if you have a marksman, then you're probably going to win. I said almost every every hive, because the only ones I don't know that have this is the split, detour, and I think, oh, and last stand. Those are the only maps that I know that don't have a um that don't have a long shot. So you're pretty fucked there if you decide to solo as marksman. And and as a uh, lack severe lack of health and damage resistance card, so you're pretty fucking squishy. And alt takes a, bu a while to recharge as well, so that's kind of a bummer. But like I said, it has super high DPS, so that's the price you have to pay for it. So, and now we go into the 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 real real good cards, the ones that that are that are fucking for children. So we'll just put Tack right here because Ash Shredder like demo, but. It can also regen its health in ultimate. It can regen ammo when ammo is scarce. And it explosives too, unlike demo. So it's already way better than demo. Plus, disciplined. Disciplined is one of the best cards in the game. Period. I don't. It, I'm not kidding. I'm not sure if a lot of highs can be done solo without disciplined. I really can't. The DPS when you actually land your shots is just so good. But as beat, it's pretty mediocre from close range if you aren't running disciplined. Plus, you can't kill a Swarmac with just explosives alone, unfortunately. Or at least from bleed from the explosives. You have to you have to risk going behind it, then shooting the blisters on his back so that's the real unfortunate part about tactician so let's move on to infiltrator next actually you know what nah i think brawler is up there Sh brawler is worse than infiltrator in my opinion because granted it has very good health and damage resistance as damage over time which is super fucking good for anything really. And it's and it has very good crowd control, but 
Unfortunately, since Operation 5, you can't really just run, 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 run anymore. You can't do that anymore. Nah, you gotta actually play the fucking game. So that means you you can you are way more frail than you were back back when Cole was super overpowered. And the damage over time, it only has a 30% chance of activating instead of guaranteed like Anchor, Nomad, and Infiltrator. Plus sometimes, sometimes um, enemies just, just teleport when you tackle them. So that's kind of fucking weird. Plus all the glory doesn't count towards, um, what's that card that, that, um, that increases alt time whenever you kill someone during the ultimate yeah alt char kills during the ultimate oh my fucking god i don't even know what to say basically all the glory fucks up your ultimate if you're using the card that um that increases your alt time so by then we'll have we'll put nomad above here because well it's invincible while executing, plus the phase is really helpful. He could potentially one-shot Scions as well, because I remember doing Gauntlet, and with I equipped Armored Shots, so it automatically does damage over time. And I was shooting at a Bastion, it does, it does nothing but... The bleed damage are critical hits, so the consecutive shot like stacked almost immediately. And when and when the bastion, the bastion dissipated, I pour out the long shot, active reload. That sign was gone in one hit, bro. So and of course, like I said earlier, bleed is super good, and as therefore. All three of these things make it have super good crowd, crowd control. Plus the Lancer GL is a fucking god. If you have Stim and Armored Shot. Because for some reason, there's a glitch where if you shoot the rockets from a Lancer GL. If you have Stim and um, Armored Shot equipped, it does bleed damage. So you're pretty much a, a budget demo if that makes any sense but it's only downfall is that um is that you have to maintain the stim through chaining executions and crits and you have to it's pretty much momentum based if you get what i'm saying because you have to ch constantly chain executions to keep your stim going which which in turn gives you armored shot plus you have to keep landing your headshots in order for consecutive headshot to to give you the most dps possible otherwise you're back to zero and then we'll have um we'll have infiltrator here because well it's a super godly class yes Probably the highest damage resistance in the game with Stim. Because you can have enhanced Stim and Stim capacity. It's 320% more Stim. Because 230% plus a 260 is 320%. Which is really, really good for damage resistance. Plus... The shotgun is super overpowered because, well, it could just, it just makes enemies just go poof within almost an instant. And it's all is super overpowered as well because the chain can make it l last like who knows how fucking long because I remember during the Master Soul Escape Marathon on Lethal... I did lethal engagements with Nasher only as infiltrator, bro. I made it to the um to the to the 
second bridge area where all the drones, hunters, and grenadiers are, right? I activated my ult there, bro. The, the amount of time that ultimate lasted because of chain is just ridiculous. I don't think it should last that long at all. I really don't. I really fucking don't. It's way too good to be in the game. But its main downfall is that you have to main like nomad you have to maintain the stim to to it's like nomad but less punishing if that makes any sense because you have to chain shotgun kills in order to get stim pretty much and you have to look out for your ammo which is exactly why i'm putting blade master blade master up here because you don't have to rely on ammo at all you really don't i think only three of the maps can be done with just melee alone with blade master so there's that it's practically invincible during ultimate as well and as probably the best crowd control in the entire game because of that so because think about it you're practically invincible you practically have 96 percent damage resistance because of the venom resistance plus throw of the hunt plus short range deflect as well but the unfortunate thing about it is that it's a glass cannon because of that since the only way to deal a significant amount of damage is through getting up close and personal, which is really bad against against boom shot scions and ice scions unless you have an M bar or a flash grenade. So it's pretty much it's somewhat mediocre at long range as a result of that. And now saving the best one for last, which is my boy anchor oh boy i got a lot to tell about this one even even after they nerfed anchor it's still the best class in the game in my opinion if y'all paid attention to my channel over the last six months or something like that i've done ev every single thing every single hive every single path with just a ball talk alone was well, just a ball talk unlike unlike um blade master which i couldn't do lethal engagements with just melee bleed alone which is what that class specializes in i can do every single hive with just a ball talk which is what that class which is what anchor specializes in so let me explain to you why in my opinion as the best ultimate in the entire game because primarily because it has because of lethal barrier i think it's called barrier feedback which allows you to get allows when when upgrade to level six it adds three seconds to your alt time so Let's say if there's a horde of juvies coming at you, right? You activate you activate your your barrier. You do leth the lethal barrier shit. Bro, that shit can last forever if it like bro, I'm not sure if y'all remember, but I did last stand right path was just lethal barrier. No joke. I I literally done it because relaxing cody jokingly asked me to do it and bro i was fucking laughing the entire time i did not think this shit was fucking possible i really didn't plus you can gain stim while you're in ultimate with um i forgot what the card is called but each hit the the barrier takes it allows you to get stim which is really good in um against boom shot scions and it's basically explosive enemies pretty much plus after the ult ends you could potentially like tank a melee hit or some shit like that which is super fucking good 
And that's not even... And I didn't even get started on the super high DPS either. Because... Bro, with um, Balt, Ball Talk Bleed w com combined with Adrenaline Junkie, one active headshot with a Ball Talk and an Elite Drone is dead. No joke. And I think four to five against Scions as well. And on top of that, it has Ball Talk Bandolier, so you have a shit ton of ammo to work with. And they buffed it in Operation 5 where you deal 50% more damage through the barrier. And they buffed it ag and they buffed Anchor again. And I think Operation 6 where, the where pistols deal 30% more damage. So if you combine, um, what's it called? Adrenaline Junkie with... The Ball Talk Bleed card and Shield. The Ball Talk is probably the best gun in the entire game with Anchor. And as uh, oh, I forgot to mention as super fast alt charge as well. Wow, as if this class couldn't get any better. Oh wait, it can because it has sixty percent health buff card with Crazy Tough. But um, it can struggle if you don't have lethal barrier on. Then, then hordes of juvies can be a bit of a struggle, and bleed can be somewhat of a of a detriment if you have execution rules on. So it's best if you if you um time your shots very carefully. You can't just mindlessly just just boo boo. Boo, 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 over and over again. You have to be, you have to be slow and methodical with your active shots. So that can be kind of annoying as on maps like the barracks and the descent. Yeah, those are the only two maps I know that have execution rules on. So I think that's it for my execution tier list i know i'm sorry if i sound like i don't know how to speak because this is s somewhat unscripted but and on top of that i haven't done a video like this in so long i think the last discussion video was like four or five months ago i'm not sure but i had, r I had a lot of fun composing this tier list especially after doing 351 solos at this point plus two 24 hour escape marathons which i still somewhat haven't recovered from so thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video